Hello everyone and welcome back to our RTS series. Previously we've been working on the camera functions and selection functions and in this episode we're going to start working on selecting individual units. So for this to work we need to actually start creating our actual units to begin with. Now for the purpose of this video I've imported in a texture which I've provided in the link in the description uh, below this YouTube video where you can find this unit selection texture. It's simply just a ring but you'll find it you can use it if you wish. So in our units folder, I made a new folder called units. We're going to create a new blueprint class and choose a character. And this is going to be called unit base. And this is the base unit that is parent to all other unit types. And we're going to just right click on that and create a child. And call unit infantry. Okay. So in our unit infantry, we need to set up uh, their look and their selection system so this is going to be something similar to all uh, of the units so we're going to put the code we want to use in unit base therefore it will, tr uh, it will trickle down into all the other unit types so in here let's change our mesh to our skeletal we've got here so let's find the skeletal one i've got and these all parts let's find the actual thing um We'll go for skeletal. Uh, what do I want? Let's find um, okay, the archers. Heavy. No, that's uh, cavalry. Don't want that. Uh, light infantry. We'll use light infantry. There we go. So we'll move him down. Like so, perfect. And uh, we'll leave it like that. Next, we're going to make a decal appear on him. So this is a bit of decal that shows whether or not he's been selected or not. So go to Add Component and search for Decal. Now the decal is something we're going to design with our texture. So let's go back to our texture here and right-click Create Material, and we're just going to name this ending with Matt. And go into here in this material quite simply we're going to just change this main node to change the material domain from surface to decal and then you want to change the blend mode from opaque to translucent now this texture here has an alpha channel on it um, which is referring to its opacity so you can just drag the alpha channel to the opacity like so for that to work Next, we want a little bit of color on it as well. So this is a white ring. We're going to make it yellow. So we need to put in a vector here. So let's hold down the three, left click, and then multiply that by this RGB value. Plug it into base color. And we go into here and just change the color to yellow. Hit apply and save. Okay, so if I go back to my unit base now and click on this decal thing we've added and we're going to go to the right hand side and change the decal material to that material. So search for unit selection mat. There it is. And I'm just going to turn this around so it is going upwards. Now this won't be visible on this view because you need a surface for it to clip through. Um, but I'm just going to scale it down a little bit, like so. And you want to clip through the floor somewhat. Hit compile, and to test this out, drag the unit into the world, and you see that your ring surrounding them. That's the unit selection ring decal. Now you want to avoid the decal affecting the mesh as as well, otherwise you get a weird issue as uh, such as this. If I move it. You see the ring appear on the mesh it's not what you want so what we're going to do is click on the mesh component and just search in the details box here for decal and you'll see the tick box for receives decals turn that off and there you go compile and now save 
So next we need to be able to uh, click on it to select it and deselect it. So when we click on it, um, we need to make an actor uh, on clicked event. So let's just make that event here. And we're still in unit base for this because again, all units can be clicked on. So here we'll say uh, on clicked, you'll see actor on clicked. And on here, we want to double check that the button pressed is equal to um, the left mouse button. First and foremost. Now, the actor on clicked event will only work if your player controller, got over here, has the enabled click event turned on. That's important. The other thing that's important is the default click trace channel. And now default wise it's visibility, which is an issue because characters by default are, are chosen to ignore the visibility channel. If I go down to collision here, expand open, see visibility here, it says ignore, but it says it uses camera. So you can either change it here or change it on the controller. I'm gonna go change it on the controller and I'm gonna change the default click trace channel to camera. Compile on that one and go back to our unit base. So now this act on click will detect this character. And if it's a left mouse button and it's true, we want to tell it when it's selected or not. Now, if it is selected, we need to tell the controller what actors have been selected because they need to be ones that are directed by the controller. And this one also needs to know where it's selected because we need to turn off and on the decal. So let's just go into our RTS controller here and we'll make a new function and we'll call this one add unit to selection and this is going to have one input and that's going to be a unit base that we're going to add to our selection here so unit base and that would be unit base object reference and in here we need to make a variable an array of all the items we're going to be selecting so this will be a unit selection and we'll change that to an array of unit base, like so. So that is now gonna hold a list of all the units that we're selecting. Uh, and we need to add this unit to it. Now, the easy way of doing that is just drag out your array, choose get, and then from there, you wanna add unique. Okay, you only want one reference of that particular uh, object in there. So we go and drag that in, like so and that adds the units to its selection and we'll leave it like that for now um, then we want to tell the uh, controller here to also have a remove unit from selection so we're going to make a new function to remove unit from selection again we'll have another input on there which is unit base and that'll be the unit you want to remove and we're going to drag out your array and then we're going to remove item. You know, drag this item here. Okay. And there you go. So there's the two basic functions to add and remove it to this array here. But once we've adding it and removing it to it, we need to tell the unit that we've also been successful in this and then to change its decal appearance here. So in here, we're going to make a new function in here and do custom event and we'll call this one is selected and if is selected is triggered and we have an input on there for true so we have a boolean here so is selected and when this is called and this is true it means it's been selected if it calls and it's false it means it's deselected so if it is selected we want to take our decal out here and set the visibility based on that boolean so just drag that straight to it there compile and save it there go back to the rts controller and we're going to go to add unit to selection now once it's successfully added the unit to a selection we're going to take the reference to unit base here drag this out and we're going to call that is selected fun uh, function is selected and we're going to turn that to be true Let's just put this line around here so it keeps it nice and organized. Go to remove unit from selection, do the same thing. So go from here, 
is selected but this time leave it as false compile and save okay so what's left is now to call those functions on the controller so I'm just going to go and get the reference to the player controller now this is a generic reference so it's not pointing to a specific one to make it point to a specific one we want to drag out and get a uh, cast sorry to the RTS controller and you could do essentially the same thing with interfaces but you're not going to get much benefit out of it um it, it, they're fairly similar in in cost um so this would be fine for this and as rts controller we're going to do this and go add to selection and we only want to do add to selection if this is not already selected now an easy way of doing that is just looking at the visibility of your decal so we're going to go to the decal here is visible and we'll put that into a branch and if it's false we want it to remove from section and the unit will be self and self again here so we're looking at the visibility of the decal if it is visible um oh we've got the wrong way wrong way, wrong way round put that one there put the move up top so if it is visible when we click on it we want to make it uh removed and if it is uh not visible we want to add it to the selection okay and quite importantly we need to make sure the decal is off by its default so go around and change its visibility to off Okay, so let's go into our game now. Hit play. And let's go to our unit over here and click on him. And I can deselect and select him. Like so. And I can't click anywhere else. I have to click on him to deselect him. Excellent. Okay. And there we have the basic unit selection. So the next task is to get to select the units based on this draw that we do here in the previous episode so in the next episode we'll show how to do that we can set multiple units at the same time and also deselect them as well so if you go over them and under them like that it will select and deselect them accordingly and we'll do that in the next episode if you want to watch that next episode right now head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan laley where you can watch all my episodes before everyone else uh, all from just one dollar a month Big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support with me and the channel. It really is amazing, so thank you again so much. If you're watching this and you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave any comments below if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.